Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, and welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. My name is Chanika Lokam, and today I'll be talking a bit about a pre-built COVID-19 chatbot that our team built for healthcare providers in the US. In today's video, we'll be talking a bit about chatbots and what they are and why they're becoming so popular. We'll also be talking a bit more about COVID-19 and the current situation across the, across the world. We'll also be talking about the pre-built chatbot that we built for COVID-19 for health plans and healthcare systems. We'll also be showing a live demo of the different features that the, uh, the healthcare bot provides. And we'll also be talking a bit about the technologies used within this chatbot as well. So what are chatbots and why are they becoming so popular? As you know, with tools like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, and others, messaging is exploding as a medium for conversations. The mechanism for users to have instant gratification 24 seven is really providing a great, uh, a great way for users to communicate. And hence messaging has become really, really popular. Chatbots are also picking up on that same trend because they're essentially systems that provide interfaces via messaging. They operate on the basis of natural language processing engine, which essentially is able to identify intents of the users, such as what is my order status, and also entities within the conversation, such as an order number or a delivery address. Advancement of technologies such as NLP, sentiment analysis, and other language processing capabilities is really helping chatbots become more and more conversational. They're essentially free form based, so users can come and interact with them just as if they're speaking with a human. But the advantage is chatbots respond back uniformly, immediately, and 24 seven. At the time of this recording in April, 2020, the world is battling with the global pandemic, which is COVID-19. COVID-19 is uh, from a large family of viruses that originated in Wuhan, China. It has been declared as a pandemic by the World Health Organization and as of today, we have over 2 million cases confirmed worldwide. There's millions of people across the globe locked down in their homes, not being able to visit their loved ones. And during this time, some of the symptoms that you might see with COVID-19 include shortness of breath, fever, cough, dizziness, among others. For the latest information, please visit the World Health Organization website or the CDC's website for the latest FAQs and information. To help healthcare plans, which are being overwhelmed by the amount of volume of patients that are coming into their facilities every day, we have built a pre-built chatbot that health plans or healthcare providers can take and embed on their website within a matter of days. So what does this chatbot offer? The first thing is that we have a pre-built widget that we've customized on top of Microsoft's bot framework and their direct line API that you can quickly customize with your own branding, your logo, and your own chatbot name to deploy onto your website. It takes a matter of minutes to be able to take this widget and put it onto your website and integrate it with it easily and securely. All information that is sent via the chatbot by your users is secure and encrypted. Also, we've built a lot of pre-built content for this as well on top of Microsoft's bot framework and their Azure bot service where you can quickly customize this information using their Q&A maker. We have questions such as uh, details around hospital visits, cancellation of elective surgeries, and also a CDC-based symptom checker where users can come and identify their risk level in terms of COVID-19 infections. So let's quickly dive into a quick demo of this chatbot and how it would look on a sample healthcare provider's website. So let's quickly jump into the demo of the healthcare chatbot for COVID-19. So as you can see, we have a demo site set up here for a healthcare provider. We have a widget provider over here, which you can just embed on any web page. You can customize this widget to your branding and your colors and change the name of the chatbot as you wish. So if I can click on this, it gets me started with the standard conversation. So it has a get started message. It introduces itself as AWA, the virtual assistant for pro medical and talks about what it can do. If I go ahead and click on get started, it starts the conversation with the chatbot for me. So once again, this, these menu items, the questions that you put within the chatbot and also the features are completely customizable and can be done very, very quickly. So your deployment time for getting this onto your website is not even weeks, it's just a couple of days. 
So I can go ahead and ask it um, questions about COVID-19. I can ask it my own questions if I want. So let's go ahead and start with what is COVID-19. So after that, we can ask a question about elective surgeries. Being conducted. So I can find out if elective surgeries are still being conducted and then it'll answer based on whatever the hospital's protocol is. The users can also come and ask the chatbot such as what is your visitation policy? And the chatbot will be able to answer saying that yes, visits are strictly restricted and screening, screening is provided at all entrances. Again, you can customize this question as you want. Uh, we can also go ahead and ask about, do you have the capability to test me for COVID-19? And the chatbot should be able to answer with another standard FAQ type of question. This can help really reduce the load on your um, on your team members so that the chatbot can answer some of the most commonly asked questions that users are having when they're speaking with uh, the chatbot. You can also come ahead and again say help so that it showcases the menu and you can go ahead and click on the COVID-19 assessment, which basically is an assessment where users can be taken through a set of questions and determine whether they're low, medium or high risk. This is based off of the CDC's um, guidelines and also based out of the guidelines from the World Health Organization. So you can go ahead and agree to the terms. You can answer a couple of questions. I'll say United States, answer for myself. Uh, just for the sake of this form, I'll go ahead and input some uh, random information. So in this case, you can see I can select none of the above or I can select other multiple options. I will go ahead with shortness of breath and slurred speech for now. Um, I have not had any contact with anybody. I do not have any of the other features, maybe a bit of cough. Submit, I do not live in a long-term healthcare facility and I have not worked anywhere and within range of a COVID-19 diagnosed person. I do not have any of the above medical conditions and I can submit this over to the chatbot. At this time, the chatbot will go ahead and start um, using our risk assessment tool behind the scenes to assess the risk and be able to give back a response to the user. Once again, all these questions, the inputs given within them and the calculator itself are based out of the CDC guidelines and they're absolutely configurable and customizable for your use. So as you can see, the bot has responded back saying that the assessment has categorized you as low risk and you're currently not showing any symptoms that'll categorize you at a higher risk for coronavirus. If you'd like more information about the embedding the healthcare chatbot on your website, please reach out to us at innovation at miraclesoft.com. Once again, thank you for visiting our playlist and we hope that you got some great information from us today. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.